Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluter channel doing paid reviews. This is paid review 20 SE93. This is a bonus for Jeff. So what happened is Jeff urgently came to me and he needed some advice. He needed advice and I'm turning his phone call into a bit of a vid and I'd like to talk to the audience. Hi Archie, I've sent you some money. It's all I could muster at the moment. I don't expect a video, but some ad quick advice. By the way, I've loved all the three vids you did for me. I never wound up buying a JLC Moon, but I still have the Omega Aquaterra. Anyway, I'm, I think I'm about to buy a Zenith El Primero 38mm on bracelet. The one Scotty had. I have a 7 inch oval wrist, here are my questions. How do you like the bracelet? I'm a bit concerned about the lack of micro adjustment. Butterfly clasp and it looks like 2 and 3 quarter links. Whatever that is, I would be disappointed if I couldn't get a good fit. Also, what's it like to not have the hacking seconds? How can you set it? Lastly, grey gray market, brand new price with stickers, 6500 bucks US, including tax. Is that a good price? Any reason not to get this? I almost bought a Speedy, but I don't want the plastic crystal, and don't buy, I, don't, I won't buy a substitute. Number, no, I don't want a third hand Rolex instead. I'm going to buy a black dialed Rolex down the track. Thoughts, happy holidays, keep up the good work, your fan. So I came back to him and I said, hey man, I'll give you a call, I had a talk. I said, man, do you even know what hacking means, hacking movements? And I, I had a chat to him and I got to tell you, this guy here, Jeff in LA, he is a fussy, fussy, wussy guy. Completely fussy, 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 just ridiculous. And I said to him, man... For starters, hacking or non-hacking. So what is hacking or non-hacking? And basically what hacking is, is that when you pull the crown out to set the time, the second hand stops. And that way there you can restart it and it goes again. Now, i got to be honest with you, Rolexes of yesteryear were non-hacking, like the Explorer 1. The old Explorer 1s weren't hacking. They are hacking um, now, and most Rolexes, are, they're hacking now, they're hacking. But, man, what's the answer? Is it a big deal? And the, my answer to that is, man, Patek Philippe, which is certainly a couple of levels above Rolex, they're also non-hacking. Does it matter? Not really, because this is a mechanical watch. So, basically what you do, let me tell you this, okay? How do you set a hacking watch? I mean, come on, man. Even not set, it's not an atomic clock. You understand? Basically, this is what you do. For example, my Patek 5196. That's done hacking. Manual wind. So you first thing Patek says is you should wind it before you set the time. So if it's if it's completely dead, wind, 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 wind it up. Then what you would do is you set the time and you get it near enough so what if it's not like an atomic these are not atomic clocks okay these are mechanical watches so people have got such high expectations so i gotta be completely honest with you jeff you sound really really whingy 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 nothing is ever right these are man-made products okay watches are never perfect believe you me so many moving parts so many many problems man you've got to you've got to realize jeff that they're not perfect okay okay please can you please understand that they're not perfect they ain't perfect okay i wish they were but they're not so i got to be honest with you i think you really whingy 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 so hacking or not hacking i don't really think that makes a big difference the next thing is, uh, you think about buying the Zenith. The Zenith El Primero Chronomeister 38mm, the reissue, 96. That's a great watch. 38mm on the bracelet. It's a 19mm bracelet, so it's quite a smallish watch there. Uh, 
here are my questions. How did you like the bracelet? Look, the bracelet was okay. It wasn't Rolex quality type bracelet. But it's, I think the Zenith bracelet's very comfortable. I didn't have a problem with it. I'm a bit concerned about lack of micro adjustment. Well, man, what you do is it's like anything, you know, you make it a bit big. Okay, I, I have the same problem. Okay, many watches like this, this Reverso here, it's a little bit loose. And it's, look, this is how fussy I am. I've got links, I've got holes in it. Right, I'd like to put it between the two, between it. But hey, you know what? That's life, okay? It's just, that's just how it goes. Just suck it up, suck it up and enjoy the watch. I don't, I don't let it really get me, okay? So man, I, I gotta be totally honest with you. You sound really whiny, really, really whiny. <clears throat> so that's what I think there. You said, um, the butterfly clasp and all, did it, 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 just, 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 I, I would be disappointed if I couldn't get a good fit. Man, you just have it a bit loose and your body swells a bit in the heat. Man, just stop being a, this is really crappy. This is, man, come on, man. You're, man, come on. Also, what's it like not to have, it doesn't matter. How you set it, you wear it, you wind it. Man, what the hell? You talk, it's automatic. How do you set it? I just explained that. Lastly, <clears throat> grey market, brand new, he said six and a half. Look, my advice to you, if you want to know, is this a good deal or a bad deal, jump on Chrono24. Jump on Chrono24 uh, Chrono prices. They are a little bit higher than standard prices because they got fees. But, you know, a friend of mine says take off 7%. Take off 7%. So, you know, I, I I think you really just want to make sure you're not getting completely guts ripped off. So look on Chrono, what's the cheapest ones? And if it's a little bit more for a brand newie, well, that's okay. So that's 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 my advice for you. But I gotta be honest, Jeff, everything you do is is just these are these are man-made goods. They're never going to be perfect. They never are perfect. They are flawed. They're very flawed. And i got to be honest with you. You're the sort of guy, I don't think you understand, man. You just seem to be really difficult, okay? Really, really difficult. Really difficult. And, and I get it. It's a bit funny. But, man, these are nice watches. You just... You gotta learn to live with shit, okay? Okay, it's like when you find Miss Wright, she's never gonna, they're, they're, she does not exist. You're gonna have to have compromises. Life is full of compromises. <laughs> you just go with the flow. My first Rolex, I said to a jeweler friend, get me the cheapest Rolex you can. He got me a 1016. I would have preferred an Air King at the time because it was, it wasn't Sapphire. And I said, oh, that's okay. Just just go with the flow. When you start to overanalyze things and think too much, you can't really do that. So I got to be totally honest with you. You, you really don't understand. These, these are mechanical timepieces. They are flawed. Okay. They, they, they really are flawed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But my advice to you, my advice to you is to, um, my advice to you is to really, 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 you've got to, don't be so picky, be a bit more flexible, and just, you know, these are flawed, it's like a car, is there a perfect car? No. You want reliability, you buy a Toyota. You want fancy wancy, you get a Maserati. Now, is the Maserati reliable? No, it's not. It's a horror story. You gotta prep it up, warm it up. It's got a, it's got, it's got a, um, you know, with a sump, a low sump. What's the sump? Dry sump, dry sump. It's a bitch. Okay, but that's the fun of the, of the charisma. You want something that is bulletproof? Get a Toyota. You want a bulletproof watch? Get a quartz. Get a quartz.
quartz. That's what you do. Get a get a Grand Seiko quartz. That's like a Lexus. That's like a Lexus. Is it exciting? Not really. Not really. But man, this is what you gotta do. I'm telling you, man. Please, please. I, I'm trying to give you advice here. You're really, really picky. That's not gonna work. So guys, I gotta tell you. I gotta, 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 gotta tell you. Gotta give a bit of flow. These are man-made products. Nothing. Then they, they got flaws in them. Give a little bit. Okay, guys. That's today's paid review. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. Please, guys. I'm running out of paid reviews. I need some more. Get them. Get them in now. Fifty US dollars. I'll do a paid review. I'll tell you what I think. I'll give you the good, the bad, the ugly. I will give it to you. <clears throat> I'll give it to you. I'll give you my advice. So. Please, please, please get a paid review. I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I can't survive on the Googles. I need paid reviews. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Hi, guys. Archie Luxury. And who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. Hey guys, Archie Luxury. Who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co. That's correct. Vintage Watch Co. in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co. Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co. That is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co. and the guys' amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.